You know, I actually thought this concert, one of the best I ever saw, it's the 25th anniversary rock and roll uh, concert they did on uh, HBO, unbelievable. Austin Safarian Jenkins, oh, I wasn't going to say that name. Hi, it's Graz. Uh, sorry about the view, but the house is not clean, and it's how it is with the wife, but, uh, well, I'm not going to mention Mr. Jenkins, Austin's, never mind, tight end from Gig Harbor. Anyhow. This blog is about the exciting things that are happening in Mont Lake. Now, I have said on the air already, I am a little worried about all of this. Worried because I don't want to jinx it. Worried because, seemingly, at every turn, the Huskies seem to be making the right move. Kind of like I did when I elected to go with this odd French charcoal. I don't know why it works. I just know that it does. Look, I've, I've created a few hats to help me with my example because it's really sort of exciting, the news about uh, the tight end from Gig Harbor and who else might be coming, K, uh, uh, K I'm not going to say his name either, because I don't think the high school guy should be doing that. But anyway, uh, here's the deal. Now look, when it comes to basketball and college in this town, I think everyone knows, when it comes to the Gras, this is where I'm at, okay? It's where I'm at, it's what I'm doing. The season starts November the 9th in Maryland, playing the Huskies at Key Arena this year. It'll be awesome. Sorry about that, but that's where I'm at. And look, when it comes to, to college football, I love, dearly love these guys and love that season. One of these days I will tell you a story about that season with, with Mike Price. That's a good one. I won't get him in trouble. I don't think it will. But anyway, look, I love the Cougars too, but we're in Seattle. If these guys aren't good, it's bad. All right, look, I was one of the guys in town who thought, and actually I'll, I'll quote what I said, Hiring, uh, getting to hire Tyron Willingham was like a gift. It was like a gift. Now, 0-12 was not part of the equation. I did not think that was going to happen, and that kind of makes the gift thing sound awfully stupid. And look, occasionally I say very stupid things. But on the other hand, what he did do was clean up this program. 0-12 was too high a price to pay, but there is no longer any NCAA looking at anything. I'm not saying Steve Sarkeesian's doing anything wrong. I'm saying Steve Sarkeesian and Nick Holt and his entire crew are getting a chance to start fresh. And what's most exciting about it is what they're making happen. Look, this year there's going to be a lot of pressure, especially with Jake Locker and especially with what expectations are with USC losing Pete Carroll. Of course, Sark beat him last year, and is that why they were so good? Don't worry about that, Seahawks fans. The USC did fine when Sark wasn't there, though it is something to think about. Anyway, let's not think about that. Let's dwell with the point, or stick with the point, that actually, in my opinion, Sarkeesian era here might be... Look, I like to be ahead of the curve if I can be. Now, I like to be a contrarian and disagree with things when they come out there. But I like to be ahead of the curve. And I want to be on this one, too. The recruiting news that came out last night about getting you know, the number two prospect in the state with a good line of the number one prospect reminds you of the halcyon days of Don James. Understanding that Don James and Dick Baird and those guys didn't have to compete with Oregon or Oregon State. Any guy they wanted from the Northwest, they got. It's different now, but it seems like, seems like the Huskies may have the guy. Regardless of what happens this year, and I'll, I'll remain just a little bit calm about the whole thing, even though it's hard not to envision nine or ten wins, the way Sark coaches and the improvement they made last year. I think what today meant more than anything is it feels like finally, after way, way, way too long a period of time, Things are getting back to normal as far as Husky fans are concerned in Husky land. And ultimately, if you live in Seattle and you love sports, it's better that way.